Dylan Dennis lost every single round. He failed on a takedown attempt in a boxing fight, failed on a guillotine attempt, and started swinging at security, missing his punches too. These guys aren't even fighters, and he's missing his punches at them. How many L's can one man take in a single boxing fight? Do you know how you avoid L's? By getting the best nutritional drink, AG1. This video is brought to you by AG1, a nutritional drink that will change your life on the daily because of all the nutritional value that it gives you. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, NSF certified for sport, ensuring the highest quality and safety when you take AG1. It's good if you're on a gluten-free diet, it's dairy-free, it's good for vegan and keto as well. It promotes gut health, helps your immune system, boosts energy throughout the day. This is specifically what I feel when I take AG1. One, I take it usually in the morning, very easy, you just pour the power inside a, a glass of water, shake or mix it together, and throughout the day I feel so much energetic than without AG1. That was a big difference maker for me. Just overall excellent for the body, brain, and gut health. I make sure to get it for everybody in my family, and at this point it's just part of a routine. Every morning I wake up, I take AG1 with my meal, and I get so much more energy throughout the day. And AG1 is giving you a free gift offer, just click the link in the description to get one year supply of vitamin D3 K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. So when you purchase for the first time, they're going to give you one year supply of vitamin D3 K2 as well as five travel packs for free on top of what you purchase. You can't put a price tag on your own health and I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Amazing products here. Yo, that lived up to the hype. I expected a circus and we got a circus. Logan Paul easily beats Dylan Dennis. Dylan threw more punches at the security guards than he did at Logan Paul. He barely even even fought he only landed 16 punches in five rounds five rounds in boxing only landed 16 punches that has to be like a, a world record right to compare Logan Paul landed 108 I wonder if Dylan Dennis even trained properly for this fight because this guy's been training for MMA training with good strikers like Conor McGregor for a long time where is the progression where are the skills how do you get beat by Logan Paul that badly? How do you only land 16 punches in five rounds? That doesn't make any sense. There's people watching this video right now that will land more than 16 punches on Logan Paul. Hasbula will land more than 16 punches on Logan Paul. And his trump card as a jiu-jitsu guy, he tried to get the fight to the ground in a boxing fight. In a boxing fight, he tried to wrestle. It didn't work. Logan Paul's actually a better wrestler than Dylan Dennis. A lot of people don't know that. And not only that, Dylan Dennis dropped for a guillotine and Logan still got out of that too. What an embarrassment for Dylan Dennis, man. And an embarrassment for boxing in general. But this is what I expected out of the fight. Logan easily winning the fight. Dylan Dennis does not really know how to box too much. He was swinging at the security guards what like what is up with him why was he swinging at the security he threw a haymaker at one of them and he lost every single round on the scorecards losing eventually by a disqualification i've never seen a boxing fight like this before you know if dylan dan has kind of just lost a fight but he tried some things he landed some good punches here and there and stuff people will probably look at it a little bit differently but the fact that he got beat easily the entire fight and then completely embarrassed himself at the end that might just like wash away a lot of the pre-fight stuff that he was doing and people might just look him as a loser again that was the whole notion about dylan dennis before this whole thing with logan paul everybody looked at him as a guy who just constantly takes l's and here we are again he's back in his old ways taking more l's than i ever could have expected him in a single fight yo if you're gonna go for the guillotine at least get it we joke a lot about you know nate diaz doing stuff like that against jake paul or Tyron Woodley taking down Jake or something like that, you know? Dylan Dennis is a guy who actually went for it for real and he completely failed on it. At least get it, you know? At least take him to the ground. At least kick his leg. At least succeed in something. If you're going to cheat, at least succeed in cheating. Don't fail on that too, you know? I'm pretty sure Logan did not expect Dylan Dennis to go for the takedown and he wasn't even close at getting it. He couldn't even get him off balance. He had no good drive. He was all the way on his knees. I mean, a very poor takedown takedown attempt. Logan did not feel threatened by it at all. Notice how Logan Paul goes in for that left wizard, completely off instincts. I mean, this guy used to wrestle. We saw some of his wrestling with Paulo Costa too. The guy is actually pretty good. And then the guillotine, he just slipped off. I mean, he went for it. It looked like a good attempt, 
but they were way too sweaty at that point. Logan went in for the ground and pound. That would have been a big shot if he landed that. I mean, this is probably the first time he ever even threw a punch at someone on the ground before. After what transpired tonight, what do you guys think the promotions would do with Dylan Dennis? Do you think more promotions will sign him? Do you think more promotions will like to have him on their cards to compete? A lot of people in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community don't like him. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of the boxing promoters probably don't like him anymore. He still has MMA, I guess. But I don't know if he's going to compete at all. You know, he barely ever fights. Even for the weigh-ins, he was trying to say that Logan Paul should not be allowed to fight because he didn't make weight on the time i've never he was so adamant for the fight not to happen and that told me the mentality he had going into this fight and also tells me that he probably didn't really prepare for this that well because any fighter that comes out of a training camp wants the fight to happen right they don't want the fight to be canceled especially over something like oh he just didn't make weight on time he made the weight but a little bit after the deadline no fighter that has spent money time and effort in a training camp would want to throw that all away because the opponent didn't make weight on time. By the way that he fought, in all of his comments about the weigh-ins, it honestly told me that Dylan Dennis most likely did not want to fight Logan Paul, and the fact that he barely did anything in the fight itself might have confirmed that. It seems like he was hoping the fight would not happen. What an embarrassment, man. Wow.